Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. The Casio F91W. Is it retro chic or terrorist watch? So if you're someone who digs this 1980s vibe, um, you can get this for $7 right now on Amazon. You need to check it out. I went ahead and put a couple links in the description box below. And we're going to be taking a close look at it. The watch that I picked up actually came from Walmart. I paid twice as much as what you could pay for it from Amazon and free shipping. So I suggest that you get it there. However, if you can't wait, you can always walk into Walmart and get it. So anyway, in 1981, Casio released this legendary, and I mean legendary, F91W. Casio reportedly makes 3 million of these. Not made, makes 3 million of these every single year. It's no doubt that the popularity of this watch is due to its feature set, its accuracy, that you could get for only $7. And now... It's styling. Yes, this is now in style. <laughs> As a matter of fact, even President Obama had worn one of these. Napoleon Dynamite in a movie. Even Seth Rogen wore this and appreciate this watch. Now, you don't have to get it in all black. And this is like a resin. We'll get into the specs here in, in a moment. You could get all kinds of other styling. Here's the uh, chrome plated plastic finish, plastic front, but it has the nice stainless steel metal band. They call this gold face, even though um, not really looking like gold there. But you can get one that's all gold, and then they have ones that are different colors. And Casio, um, you got to give them credit. They have been making this style for a long time, and they ain't going to stop because what? is in style, goes out of style, eventually comes back into style. It is a, a styling watch. I'll tell you, the hipsters really dig this watch. I had no idea how popular and the history of this watch to a buddy of mine at work by the name of Tyler. Um, saw me wearing this watch right here, similar in styling. You can see it's sort of square. Casio makes this one also. Um, he said, hey, that's a terrorist watch you got on. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes, oh yeah, there was like a report that terrorists wore this watch. And uh, they see you wearing it, they might think you're a terrorist. It's a sign. I'm like, what are you talking about? And that's why we're sitting here having a discussion about this particular watch because I did some research and I was so intrigued and fascinated. By the way, see what I paid for this? Um, actually, I didn't pay that much for it, but if you go onto Amazon, you could get it for $17.47 for this particular one. I put it in the description box below. So, if you wear the Casio F91W watch, the U.S. government may think you are a terrorist. <laughs> Even though... <laughs> It's the most widely available watch in the world. It, it's amazing. But seriously, um, it's been known for quite a while now that there's a whole list of Guantanamo Bay detainees who wore the watch. And in an old uh, Post article, Washington Post article, uh, they said that terrorists can use this watch to create time bombs. They made this to make bombs. And... Uh, in the, we, uh, in the leaked WikiLeaks documents, they linked Al-Qaeda um, to this watch because apparently when they go to bomb-making school and terrorist school, um, they're issued this watch. And it could have been any watch. My guess is that they send someone out to the store and say, hey, get a boatload of watches. We need to give watches to everyone so they can synchronize your activities and make bombs. <laughs> so they came back with this because it was cheap and they handed it out to everyone and this just happened to be the victim of becoming known as the terrorist watch of Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda or ISIL however you want to pronounce it it's uh, just giving the students an Al-Qaeda bomb making training courses in Afghanistan um, absolutely amazing but um, now hipsters like it <laughs> So I thought that the styling of this is so cool, I took my very expensive, in 
you know, reference to. My uh, Samsung S3, and I made a face. <laughs> I made a face. I downloaded a face that looks just like <laughs> the F91W, but $7. Freaking $300 to $350 plus a, a dollar for the face. So, um, choose wisely. So let's talk about these watches. I'm going to go ahead and roll in this guy. This guy. These are the same size. Maybe just a hair bigger for the the chrome plated plastic but unbelievably light it's a uh, resin case resin band resin glass resin 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 um, this has a stainless steel band but a chrome plated resin frame there also it's water resistant to DIN 8310 ISO 22A10 um, basically it it's, can resist minor splashing. I wouldn't even put it under direct flow pressure of water. Even though people have um, shown this to be underwater, it's not claimed to be watertight, and you should not go swimming with this. There's an LED in here. I'm going to have to turn out the light here, and maybe you'll be able to see the light. Maybe. Let's see. There we go. Yes, it only lights the left side. <laughs> But if it's pitch black, you know, it's enough where you can read the whole thing. If that's a deal breaker for you, they do sell the electroluminescent, the one where it lights up the whole back. I'm going to go ahead and roll in this uh, Casio DW5600E, which has the same style, but I just wanted to show you what the electroluminosity, electroluminosity looks like. Where is the light button? There we go. So you can see, you can get a version that does that too. By the way, if you like the styling, but you don't like the, the smallness and cheesiness of this guy, you could get the least expensive G-Shock right here. Same kind of styling, but strong as a tank. Pretty good. And you could get these for like 40 bucks on uh, Amazon too. Click on my links. Uh, I appreciate the support. And uh, cruise over, you know, around Amazon. You can find all these watches I'm talking about so these guys for the price seven dollars you could get a watch that um, has a one one hundred second stopwatch daily alarm you have the hourly chime you have a auto calendar it does not deal with leap year however but you can see it has the month and day time p.m. right there um, you could change it to 24 hour format if you don't like the 12 hour format um, hours, minutes, seconds, p.m., date, day. Accuracy, plus or minus 30 seconds a month. Now, where can you get that for 7 bucks? That's crazy. And if 7 years goes by and you need another battery, no problem. Widely available. 2016 Energizer batteries. You can find these at Walmart and just about any other store. Not a problem. Not very hard to change. You just remove 4 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4. And you get in there and pop out the battery. We can take a close look at the back there. See Casio. This one is made in China. You could tell that because it says made in China on the back, but also this little speck under the S right there, it's a U. And that U signifies it's made in China also. So let's go ahead and sequence through these. Here's your mode button where you could go through your modes. See, there's your stopwatch. And that's so you could start setting it. So you have your normal, you have your alarm, and then if you want to set it, you're going to, um, I guess, press that guy, and then you could start rolling through and, and set everything. Um, you see that right there, that beep, 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 beep? That is the alarm, as if it were set, and that little bell is a hourly chime. So you could sequence through all these when you're in the alarm mode. And again, when you're not in alarm mode, you got stopwatch. So you could just sort of start it. Let me see which button starts it right there. This one turns into a lap if you want, see? And then you can continue on just like any other stopwatch function on a watch. And then you could stop it, reset it, work super duper easy. And then again, normal time. Look at that. So let's see. How small is this? Look at this. On my wrist. I got a medium-sized wrist. Look how tiny. Look how tiny. 
talk about understatement. But you know what? It's so light. You don't even know you have it on. It's amazing. So if you're somebody who is very sensitive to wearing heavy things around your wrist, um, this could be the watch for you because it is so ultra light. How light is it, do you ask? Well, just happen to have my scale here. Got a scale. <laughs> We could uh, see how much this weighs. Let me go ahead and... By the way, I didn't even show you the, the buckle. i got to talk about that here in a moment. So let's see. What does it weigh? Go ahead and pop that on there. Look at that. 0.72 ounces. That is crazy light. You don't even know it's on. So they do it because everything is plastic. And even the buckle, even this buckle... It's plastic because look I can bend it just a bit see that bend so even that's plastic but it's pretty tough I know a lot of people who have these and they just uh, keep on going but this could easily scratch again it's resin it's not a uh, crystal or mineral glass or anything like that and it's not recessed so you have to be careful if you're somebody who swings your arms around like I do um, you're gonna scratch it in no time look at this band resin band how cute how thin make a good uh first kids watch if you want to get them a real watch and not like a, a a kids branded watch um a woman might like this watch too if she's you know doesn't want a big giant thing on the wrist and it's very light doesn't tick some people believe it or not are sensitive to ticking this doesn't tick perfectly silent <laughs> Now this guy, of course, I still got, I might say this one, as a collector's item. Yes, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, this one probably weighs a little bit more because it does have a, a metal band. And it adjusts very easily. As a matter of fact, I could show you how it adjusts because... Same band as on this guy. So, to open it up, you just like that. And then you unloop it like that. See? And then to adjust it... You break out a any kind of device, any I have a, a nail file right here. All you do is just sort of put your nail file like that, open that up, and then you could adjust it just like that. So it's kind of neat that you don't need any kind of special um, jeweler's tools to take out links or anything like that. So if you decide to get one of the metal band ones, if you just want to style, especially that gold one, the gold one's gorgeous actually. Um, you don't need anything other than a screwdriver or, or a thin device to make an adjustment to the band. And it's so super duper easy. Just remember when you're clipping it back on, don't clip it all the way up here, which I was making a mistake for a while. You could clip it right down here, just like that. See? Just go like that. Clip it. And even this one is just so light. So this guy is very light. So... You're looking to be retro chic, hipster, cool, want to be on a terrorist watch list? <laughs> what I heard was if you're if in Guantanamo Bay, um, basically if you still had this watch on after being there for a very long time, they decided, eh, we're not going to let you go yet. We're just not going to let you go because it looks like you're still trying to show allegiance to your training and your Al-Qaeda bomb-making course that you took in Afghanistan. And, you, and you're not giving it up. <laughs> you still want to be a terrorist. So they'd keep you there. So um, quite an amazing history. Um, this is based on, I think, the early Casio F5s back in the 80s. They kept the look and styling in this 1991 remake, it, it's been um, pumping. Casio's been pumping three million of these out every freaking year because they're so popular. There's another friend of mine at work um, who lives in Tanzania. Name is Joffrey. <laughs> he uh, he told me, "Oh yeah, when we were a kid, we always wanted one of those watches because you know it. These are available worldwide, and everybody." You know, when you first uh, get a couple of bucks in your pocket, this is the watch you could afford, and this is what you got. And uh, it, it's a awesome, awesome watch. The best bang for the buck. So is it worth it? Does it work? Well, let's see. Ask me. What time is it? Well, 
It is 631 and it's Monday the 15th. <laughs> it works. It, it works very well and it's so small. Don't even know it's there. This arm feels just as heavy as this arm. <laughs> it is amazing that you can get a watch like this and it, it's now stylish in fashion. My old butt is in fashion and I didn't even know it. And I didn't know it was on a terrace watch list either. <laughs> Alright. I recommend it. I definitely recommend it. And it, it's absolutely intriguing um, that our, our former president and uh, Seth Rogen, Plato, uh, Napoleon Dynamite um, all find this so freaking cool as well as Bin Law. <laughs> but he's dead. Absolutely amazing. All right, thank you very much for joining me here at the View Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day or evening. Take care. Bye.